Right, like I said, I have no idea really where to go, so let's just head to the second floor again. I'm pretty sure this is where we got captured, though, so, uh, hopefully no nothing bad goes down. Because, like the name suggests, that will be kind of bad. That was frightening. A lot of the rooms in like, here like look the same, so like, I'm not sure if I've been here before. I'm pretty sure I have. Well, maybe not then. If we can't if we can open these doors. Guess not. Oh my, that I could have been seen right there. It's scary. Oh my. Card or er, board. <laughs> oh, this is so terrifying. This is. I'm forced to live in my cardboard box. Such so pitiful of a life. Oh what? Just die, all of you scumbags. Not even gonna deal with them really. I haven't any rations as well, so that doesn't really make it any easier. I guess no one really said all this tactical espionage action was gonna be easy. Just go away. Go away. Nice. I have you right where I want you, my my friend. But then you realize the sad truth that we're actually enemies, not friends, and uh... I think it's quite sad, doesn't it? Uh, I just wanna like explore this place really quickly. Am I ain't supposed to be here? No. That's always good. What's in here? Okay, then nothing of use. At all. Really? Oh no. This game does a pretty good job at making me kind of angry at times, I gotta say. Alright, let's um, head up. See if there's anything on the second floor. Oh wait. This is the place with the uh... Oh, I'm sure we, we, can, we can open a, a door or whatever with um, the uh... Magical third card key. But I really would like to be able to see those lasers. We don't even need Oh man. Killing them all, killing them all. Oh yes. And in here. Oh. What will it be? Oh, 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 whoa, oh, oh, rolly thingy. Oh god, run. That was a close one. I would so I would laugh so hard if this guy falls asleep. It's wall fighting. Narcolepsy kicks in.
Just a little tidbit. I'm um, also again like completely random though. Um, recently, a few friends of mine and 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 I. Oh my. We've been uh, we on Crackout.com basically there was a um, there's a list. Um, recently about uh, like the scariest video game, like cre the creepiest video game, like Legends or whatever. And, uh, the, the winner of it was this arcade game called Polybius, which, uh, striked a few of our interests, and we kind of, like, told everyone else about it. And, um, it's basically, like, this legend that, like, this, uh, arcade game in, like, 1981 or whatever, it was, like, this very mysterious game that kind of, like, appeared out of nowhere or whatever, and, um, apparently, people that played it got addicted to it, or some of that. And it kind of caused some very adverse effects, like, it drove them literally insane. And, uh, some weird stuff, like, apparently, uh, made them have nightmares, made them, um, have suicidal tendencies, and made them have, may apparently made some people even give up games in general, um, which uh, makes me think that maybe uh, Jack Thompson, before he became this anti-Grand Theft Auto wrecking machine, he at one point was like, this is like the biggest gamer ever, then he played Polybius, and now, now, now he turned into the guy he is now. Only way into the courtyard is a parachute dive from the rooftop. Huh. Alrighty then, thanks for letting me know that, POW. I hope you get out of here sometime, even though I'm not, I'm not gonna let you I'm not gonna like escort you out or anything because I'm a bad boy. Oh my god. Um, rations are beautiful. Oh, mean. Oh, I'm 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 such a freaking cheap bastard. But that is actually clever. Oh, I should have just like freaking remote rocketed him. Rocketed him. Rocketed him. Eye our goggles. I'm assuming that means infrared. Now we can go to the other floor. See what's um. See those lasers. That's nice. Probably stop recording in a, in a bit though. I don't know. Really didn't plan on doing for that long. But we've made some progress though. That's always good. Alrighty, let's uh let's head out. Head out. To that um other floor, so we can test these goggles out. We got a little gold though. We got, we know that we got um head for the um find a parachute or whatever. It's always good. Didn't know how many uh, parachutes they have in this place, but uh hopefully we'll find we'll come across one. Die, 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 die. Oh, I do want to know how they keep that rolling thing rolling. It's got to have some serious tech behind it. It's like kept together by motors and shit. Okay, safe here, there. Okay, then there's. Just want to make sure, like. There weren't any other doorways back there, but besides those two, and um, if there weren't, I didn't want to have to come back and like have to fight those two guys again. I consider that some. I consider that justified safe state use. Right. Here we go. I think I actually called this another floor. I was like, let's go to that other floor or whatever. I thought it was a different place. See, it's so much easier now. Well, I guess it makes sense that it's a lot easier. <laughs> oh, infrared. One, card number one, 
See, see like, you, you can't, you can't let's roll out. Oh, it's a, you we couldn't think they're gonna be using card number one out here. They will be using card number one here. It's absolutely ridiculous. Alrighty, not that way. That's a bad way. A very bad way. Hello, Mr. PW number. I lost count already. Dr. Petrovich is in a cell in the courtyard. Okay, then. So we gotta get to the courtyard. More incentive to get to the courtyard. So we'll be able to parachute to Dr. Petrovich, who is the creator of Me uh, Metal Gear. And he knows how to destroy it. I'm machine gun kid. You can't go on. <laughs> you can't go on. You can't go on. You can't go on. That, that's how. That's how it would be, most likely. You know what? I love how I got a ma gas mask on for this. Just the. Make myself seem cool, but oh, er. nice. That's two bosses in one recording session. That's pretty. I think we're doing pretty good. I don't, definitely don't think I'm failing as much as I was before, but I'm definitely. I do want to apologize for my for my smell of safe state. Like, I know like some people don't mind it, but some people are just like, oh my god, and I and I deeply apologize to you. Like, I I understand how it can be problematic and stuff, but just realize I guess that I kind of suck at games. Parachute, yummy. Where exactly do we have to parachute from exactly again? Oh, roof most likely. It's kind of usually where people parachute from. High places. The roof is a high place. Let's see if I can remember this. Actually, no, I'm not even going to take the chance. Oh god. Yeah, I would have been dead. But yeah, if, um, if you've never played um, other Metal Gear games, um, or at least the Metal Gear Solid series, I don't know if this is using the Metal Gear 2 or not. Um, basically, Snake It Smoke and the smoke would um let you see the lasers if there was any um if there were any uh infrared lasers or whatever which is a very nice ability um to know if there's lasers about yeah I guess let's uh, head for the roof then actually first let's just see anything here I could have sworn there's at least maybe a door or so here. I'm just I'm gonna cut ahead and see like explore this place. If there's not, I'll just like leave it out because I don't want to waste your guys' time. So in here we have um an enemy uniform here. In case you're wondering what this is, this is in the basement. In the spiral place. Oh god, how I get it cut out? Bye bye Fido. And um I'm gonna stop it here. Um We'll head out to the roof and parachute off and go see Dr. Petrovich next time. Let's play Metal Gear. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um
Till next time. Liquid out. <laughs>